Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matty with the Toasty Bros and we bought a laptop for about 260 bucks from Walmart and it claims to be a gaming laptop. And it looks like it's trying to be something it's not. The P1 Ipsen MaxBook. You can uh, fill in the blank on what they're trying to do here, but yeah, $260 and they claim that it is gaming ready. I have to doubt that a little bit. Before we open this thing up, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Are you tired of your unactivated Windows install on your gaming PC? Well, today's video sponsor, GVG Mall, has you covered. GVG Mall is an online marketplace to gain access to really awesome discounted game keys, and more specifically, as we mentioned, Windows 10 licenses. It is incredibly easy to get your Windows 10 or 11 activation key from GVG Mall. Just use code TB20 to get a special discount, and then all you have to do is take that code, put it into Windows, and boom, you have an activated Windows copy. We have been working with GVG Mall for several years now and we love the reliability of all the products they have to offer. So be sure to check the link in the description down below. Use code TB20 to save on your next purchase of a Windows key or other product from GVG Mall. So this laptop has a few things going against it that make it not gaming in my eyes. For one, it has a tension seller on four core four thread, which is going to be worse than like an i3. And number two is the fact that instead of going with like a low resolution screen, supposedly this thing is 15.6 inch 1080p, which is much harder to run than like a 720p or smaller screen. So I think this thing is gonna barely play Minecraft. Yeah, so we'll try games like Minecraft. Maybe we'll try Roblox. I feel like that would be something you'd play on this. Uh, but yeah, I'm not expecting much more than that, but maybe, just maybe, this will be a good laptop in terms of just like a cheap laptop for general use. But the fact that it says gaming in the listing on Walmart's website just feels very wrong. And we're gonna kind of decide whether or not that should be there or not. Let's go and open it up. Let's open up this Max book p1 but one thing i pointed out is on the back of the little tag here it literally says ipsen pro it just makes me i'm just like hmm. i'm like macbook pro that just sounds really familiar i don't know <laughs> what, is that the charger yeah yeah it's a little charger it's a little charger uh it's um does not say the watch 100 120 volts at 0.55 amps so about 60 watts that's pretty that light about right pretty light yeah pretty light pretty lightweight lightweight packaging's actually pretty good i mean i gotta get them props for that like it actually looks like a you know like an hp or a dell or something like that in terms of the box. We've definitely gotten much more sketchier boxes, especially at the $270 price point. Protective layering. Wow. Whoa. All right, so before I take this off, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the port. So on the left side of the laptop, we have a USB 3, a tiny little charging jack. We have a mini HDMI, I think that's mini. That's mini, yeah. yeah. mini. I was getting mixed up, nothing on the back. On the other side, we have one more USB 3, a combo headphone jack, and a micro SD card. So hey, one thing they do have going for them over MacBook is they do have more ports. <laughs> Ooh. She's clean. She's clean. So on the back here, it looks like, oh, we have a SD, an M.2 SSD um, quick tray. You can install M.2 if you wanted to, really yes, easily. Yes, that's basically what he's trying to say. That's what I was trying to say, but then it came out weird. Peel, it's so oh, smooth. Oh, oh, no. Oh, so much smooth, so much well. Supposedly, though, it comes with the 512 gig. It said SATA SSD in it, so I'm hoping it's actually an SSD and not like that EMMC squared MC hammer storage where it's like a flash drive inside of here because that's just like hard drive slow. Really large keys. It's a, it's a grandpa laptop. You know, it's fully ready. Got the nice big letters. Very, very large trackpad. Now, as you can see, Intel inside, it's an Intel J processor, which is a cell run. It's a four core, four thread. It's like two gigahertz base. I think it boosts up to 2.6, which is pretty slow. It says that it's about a five hour battery life too, which I'm just like, how? Like, how can it be such a power efficient CP would have five hours? I don't know. It's not great. But does it work? Does it work? We'll see if it turns on. But yeah, I'm not expecting to play any like major games. I, I'm really just gonna aim for seeing if this thing can do Minecraft, maybe some Roblox. Fortnite seems out of the question. Maybe but some Warzone? Maybe maybe <laughs> not some Warzone, but we'll try a couple of games that, you know, if you got this from a family member who went to Walmart and was like, hey, look at this thing, it's <laughs> I cheap. I got you a gaming computer, I got boy. you a gaming computer. Uh, hopefully they see this video and don't do that, but oh wow, here we go. We can see exactly what kind of performance it has. I think the boot time will be a good uh, indicator indicator of what we're looking at so yeah we are gonna be booting into Windows 10 here so no Windows 11 I'm, I'm assuming it could get Windows 11 support maybe I don't know <laughs> I wouldn't careful. I, we might get some emails you don't do that security risk oh there we go once we are in there then we'll actually install some games maybe look at the specs a little bit more to see if they're single channel dual channel RAM but so far it's working so that's a plus 
All right, guys, we're loading into Minecraft, and I'll be real with you. Just based on how long it's taking to load in this world that we've already generated, it's not working really well. And also, wow, what's this right here? Activate <laughs> Windows. I, it was after a Windows update, and then it got deactivated, so I don't know what happened there, if I'm being perfectly honest. But yeah, that sucks. The CPU is at 100%. I'll be honest, we launched it earlier, and it was getting like 20 to 30 FPS, but ever since we restarted after that, it's just been on the absolute struggle bus. I was making sure the laptop was plugged in it is Hello. give her a minute to load it it really is getting worse like every time we relaunch it it's it just drops. getting worse this is what the maxbook max gaming gets you like i've never seen a cpu like at such 100 percent usage and the igpu is just like i'm being bottlenecked <laughs> <laughs> why i don't know and this is at the 1080p resolution you might be thinking oh man just drop it down to uh the crazy low resolution you know what? i'm gonna go all the way down wow that can get really low so i break some things to be honest oh oh no Oh no. Wait, hold up. It's working though, but my overlay is really broken. Yeah, yeah. 800 by 600. I like that better. Not 320 by 480. Oh, oh, wow. I saw 30 FPS for a second there. Oh, guys, it's getting a little better, I think. That area was just cursed. Oh, wait, no, no, but still laggy. But we hit 40 FPS at one point. Sky test. A sky test that goes to 2 FPS? What is this game? Will Valorant even work? I don't know. We're going to try Valorant, and we also have Fortnite. Um, if Minecraft is doing this, I don't expect much, but if that's the case, then I guess we're installing Roblox. I, I'm not saying it's... Uh, no, it's, it's, not, play it's, it's not playable. It's not playable. I'm not saying. All right, but if I opt, though... Can you get an op kill? Mm. Oh! Oh. Chunky. That's the goal. That's the real game. Oh, gosh, you know he's behind you. <laughs> oh, that was your. Oh. I thought that was your one. That was your oh. one opportunity right there. Oh! Runs better than Minecraft confirmed. Oh. Oh! I'm gonna get like. Oh, God dang it. <laughs> no. Yes! Yeah. Let's freaking go! All right, watch a second, another. Let's I'm, go! I can get another. I'm feeling myself. You know now. what? I was wrong. It's gaming ready. Oh, it's a gaming ready. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Four would have been insane. <laughs> I'm not going to say playable. The CPU is running at 1.7 gigahertz right now. Are we trying another game? I'm trying Fortnite, baby. He's trying Fortnite. Let's go to Fortnite. <laughs> I'm hoping it defaults to performance mode and knows it needs to be in performance mode, because if not, that ain't going to work. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't going to even work in the menu, so yeah. Oh my god, that cursed character screen, 720p. It is, is it really not do performance settings? Are you kidding me? Oh, we got to do that again. Let's restart. All right, guys, this is uh, <laughs> this is Fortnite. Um, we are at the lowest render scale possible, 720p. You know, we just went from playing this uh, game on a, a 4090, and we we're talking about how crazy good it looks. I can comfortably say I've never looked, seen Fortnite look this bad. Guys, you know, you know what they say about Fortnite? Once you land, the FPS just gets so much better. <laughs> it goes from three to 20. Yes. Oh yeah, there's a lot of people here. This is gonna not last very long. Please don't kill me right away. It's some Fortnite bops right there. No, leave me alone! I just want to. Ah! Oh, all right, no, guys, that, that, that's all you're gonna get. All right, um, <laughs> you're not gonna run it back, bro. Come on, bro. Wait, we gotta run this back. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Wow, look at that. 40. Okay, never mind. It hits 40 FPS, and it's like, no. Just please take gaming out of the title. Like, I, I mean, it's probably an okay, like, usable laptop for other things, but gaming, I think you gotta work on that a little bit. Let's let's wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done doing something with this laptop. I'm not even going to call it benchmarking because it just really didn't run games well. And in all honesty, we kind of knew that. Like, I mean, we were hoping maybe there was something we were missing here. But the fact that it's a 1080p screen with such a low end Celeron processor just kind of was a very easy to predict outcome. And that is this thing is not meant for gaming at all whatsoever. Yeah, so not any sort of light gaming at all. Like maybe some mobile games from the Microsoft store would probably work. But at the end of the day, the gaming needs to be removed from the title of this listing. If that happens, then sure, for like 250 bucks, it's a Walmart laptop, it's a 1080p screen. 
okay build quality. It's kind of like Chromebook build quality, but it has Windows on it. So you got that going for you. But uh, yeah, remove gaming and it might be a decent buy. And if you want to check it out, link down below. It won't be an affiliate link because it's Walmart and we don't have affiliate links through Walmart. But you can definitely look at this thing and see what you have to think about it. But overall, not a good buy for gaming. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Now, if you want to get a legit gaming PC, check out PCBros.tech. We will not lie and tell you that something will game when it actually won't. And if we did, we'll be there to take care of you. <laughs> PCBros.tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. If you just go Toasty Bros 2 and check out, you'll save 2% your next purchase. Be a good guy, buy a gaming PC.